What's up? You like my glasses? <laughs> I can't really see anything through them, so I can't do this whole video with these glasses on. Um, but anyway, uh, welcome to today's episode. Um, the CBD market is so full of fake crap. Fake crap. Um, it's overwhelming. I mean, you see it at gas stations, health food stores, online, and you ask yourself, is this actually going to work for me? Does it have real CBD in it? Why should I buy this product over something else? I've spent thousands of dollars on CBD over the years for anxiety, stress, bouts of depression, occasional sleeplessness, some minor pain. And the reality is none of it worked. None of it. So in this episode, I want to prevent you from spending thousands of dollars on CBD and having a cabinet full of products that don't work by sharing my top three tips for picking a CBD. So my first tip is that you have to have a third party testing done on the product. You have to be able to see that as a consumer. So unfortunately, the CBD industry is lacking in regulation. While it's coming and it's, it's currently happening right now, it's very slow. And the thing is, is that there is not a product labeling law for CBD, which means that you can have the letters CBD on your product and there doesn't have to be any true CBD in there at all. Oh my gosh, that's messed up. So, you know, the other thing is, is that companies do their own in-house testing. Mm, sounds fishy. So, I mean, in, in fact, one of the biggest names in CBD does their own in-house testing. So while I want to give companies and people the benefit of the doubt, the reality is, is that CBD is a billion dollar industry. So companies will falsify their tests and not even think twice about it. So you need to make sure it's from an independent lab. Um, also, testing is expensive. And because margins are so high on CBD, they just don't do it. So you're going to want to ask for a certificate of analysis from an independent third party lab. So you want to make sure that there's at least 80% cannabinoids in there. You should see that on the certificate of analysis. And if you're looking to pass a drug test, you need to make sure that there's 0.0% THC in there. THC is the component um, that makes you feel high and stoned, and that's what they drug test for. So if you're using it for your kids or if you are randomly drug tested, please make sure that, that on that certificate of analysis, it says 0.000% uh, THC. Also, you're not going to find a real, true, reputable CBD on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon prohibits the sale of CBD on their platform. So I'll say it again for those in the back. And listen, I love Amazon too, but... Amazon prohibits the sale of CBD on their platform. So if you're buying your CBD on Amazon, you're getting fake crap. Okay, number two. My second tip is that you need to find a product that has an absorption technology. The thing is, is like, this is a baby, okay? The common misconception about CBD and actually other nutritional products is that if you take it all, you're going to absorb it all. And that's just simply not true. Um, if only that were the case, honestly. So when you look at studies done, done on humans, which is called clinical data, when you, when you look at that, the amount of CBD that's actually reaching your bloodstream through an oral route, like CBD gummies and oils and, and cookies and you guys, it's six to 10%. That's it. You're only absorbing six to 10%. So let's say you go to a health food store and you buy a bottle of CBD. You're going to get one that's about this size. This is one ounce. So let's say you get one that is a thousand milligrams. Okay. So it's probably going to cost you around a hundred dollars. 
So at six to 10%, let's just be generous with our math here and say you're absorbing 10%. So 10% of a thousand milligrams is a hundred milligrams. So technically your hundred dollar bottle of CBD had a hundred milligrams. Again, according to studies on humans, you need 10 to 13 milligrams in your blood, in your blood guys, in order to feel the effects. So that means that your $100 bottle of CBD has 10 servings or less for a hundred bucks. No wonder, like who's going to, who's going to use that much? No wonder people aren't feeling the true effects. So my recommendation is to find a CBD that has a patented medical technology for absorption. So the technology that I trust the most is actually a nanotechnology that was developed in the 60s for drug delivery. They basically created these nano-sized lipid spheres, like little bubbles, and they would stick the drugs inside and it has a clinically proven 90 to 100% bioavailability. So the patent on that technology ran out a long time ago. And so I found a company that has the only patented liposomal technology for CBD that guarantees a 90 to 100% bioavailability, like the amount into your blood. So if you want to learn more about that, just reach out to me. All right. Tip number three is it needs to be organic compliant. The CBD needs to be organic compliant and you need American grown hemp. Hemp is a soil cleaner. That's right, it cleans the soil. It was actually used to clean up radioactive waste in the 80s from Chernobyl. I mean, you guys, like it, it cleans up pesticides, heavy metals, explosives, solvents, and you could potentially have that hemp being used to make your CBD that you're trying to improve your health with? Oh my gosh. So I know that you didn't sign up for having a heavy dose of all of those things in your CBD trying to improve your health. Um, the other thing is, is that a majority of this, the hemp that's coming into this country is imported from other countries too. So um, my recommendation is that you find a reputable company that is plant to package in the USA and organic compliant. Thanks.